Yo, what's going on fam? Nick here from Sly Leads at the Outbound Specialist on Twitter. Hit me with the follow, like, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. This is the biggest mistake I see in cold outreach campaigns. If you want to consistently start cold conversations with prospects, who don't know who you are, you need to fix this one mistake I am sure you are making. Today, we are diving deep into the art of cold outreach so you can have a healthy sales pipeline and work from a place of abundance. Towards the end of the video, I'll show you how to fix this one mistake and I guarantee it's gonna boost your reply rates, boost your meetings booked rate, and boost your closed sales call rate. What does that mean? More money, baby. Let's get into it. Number one, prospect every day. If you are not prospecting every day, you do not have abundance. You are going to end up taking prospects that shouldn't be even in your pipeline at all and trying to turn them into clients. It's going to be a mess. Don't do that. Prospect every single day. Work from a place of abundance. Cool. Number one, what are you doing wrong? You are being way too salesy. Have you ever heard of sales breath? Imagine you're sitting in US history class. First period, dreadful. The most boring class that you have to start your day. Talk about a snooze fest. The kid in front of you, he's a chatterbox. He never shuts up. Everyone sort of ignores him, but you give him the benefit of the doubt. You start a conversation. He turns around. First words that come out of his mouth, I don't even remember what he said, but all I remember is this disgust that I had. Ugh. His breath reeked. No wonder nobody wanted to talk to him. This is how you sound. This is how you look. This is how you make your prospects feel when you are salesy. You have sales breath. Let me explain. So what is sales breath? If you are nervous talking to your prospects, if you're jumpy, antsy, anything other than calm, cool, and collected, your prospects will not only notice, but they will be repulsed. Way too many of you are pushy, salesy, and desperate. You're like a lap dog, ready to do anything the prospect pleases. You are a pushover, willing to do anything to get the deal. Wrong. You need to be in the driver's seat, set a clear agenda of how the call will go, communicate that prior to getting into it, and outline what the next steps are before you even start the actual sales process. So what does sales breath look like in practice? If you don't close this deal, you don't hit your revenue target. You're likely to heavily discount your product or service. You take on bad clients who fail the dick test and you don't even want to work with them just because you need the revenue. Fast forward three months and you sign five new clients that you hate doing business with and you don't even want to wake up and work in your business anymore. Stop doing this. So how do you properly frame your sales calls so you don't have sales breath? This is all prep work before the actual call. You need to define your ideal client profile. Define the scope of your work. Define the price with your reasoning behind it. If you just make up some price or copy some other price from somebody else in the industry, they will get all of the business and you will get none because you can't even justify why you charge how much you charge. Define what the customer journey looks like with 30, 60, 90 day roadmaps. Define what a successful engagement looks like for your client. How many clients are they going to take on before end of year using your cold outbound system? Once you define all of these things and more, you tell the prospect exactly what they will get from working with you. Real quick intermission here. If you want someone to come into your business and book you qualified sales calls completely done for you, hit the first link in the description. Now let's get back to the video. Once you're on the actual sales call, I start all of my sales calls the same way. You tell the prospect, hey, we know who we can help. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Some of them are blunt. I do not intend to hurt your feelings. I'm only asking them because I need to see the clear picture of what is going on in your business prior to knowing if I can actually help you. Cool? Everybody says yes to that. And it puts you in the driver's seat right away. Then you ask them those pointed questions regarding your defined ICP, which you did earlier because I told you to. Do they fit? Great. Move on to the scope of work and how you can help. If they don't fit, pump the brakes, stop right there, Hey, no hard feelings, Mr. Prospect. You are a little smaller than the typical client that we work with, but I have a downsell. Always have a downsell. If you don't have a downsell, recommend them to a colleague of yours who is in that ideal client profile or sell them on consulting rather than the full scope of your work. You are making a flywheel of your sales process. Even if somebody might be not qualified for the full scope of work, either you should be getting a consulting fee 
or you should be getting a referral fee for recommending them to a colleague of yours in the space. If you don't have any colleagues in your space, then what are you doing? Start networking. Anyways, let's get back into it. Not only will they appreciate you being transparent and honest, they will trust you more because of it. If you tell them that they aren't a fit, they want to know why. What else do they need to do before working with you? This completely changes the framing on. You're switching places. They're not selling, you're not selling yourself to them. They are selling themselves to you. They are the ones who are convincing you that you should work with them. Why is this so magic? It's because you did cold outreach to spark the interest. And then once they actually hopped on the sales call, they are the ones interviewing to work with you. It's absolutely bananas. Once you nail in this process, your close rate will not only skyrocket, your revenue will not only skyrocket, you're gonna have a wait list, you're gonna have a series of down sales and consulting clients, and the referrals are gonna start pouring in because you look so much more professional than somebody who just takes on a client, maybe gets shoddy results, uh, you're doing way too much work for how much you're actually charging them. Stop doing that. Prospect every single day, take control of your sales calls, don't have sales breath. That's everything. If you want someone to come into your business and take over your sales prospecting and book you qualified meetings with your ideal client profile, hit the link in the description. Nick Sly Leads at The Outbound Specialist on Twitter. Hit me with a follow, like, and subscribe. Love you guys.